Hey everybody, coffee. Again, I end up doing these things fairly early because it's before school and before I go to work. So I gotta have my coffee, gotta have my coffee. Um, Doctor Strange, I mean, I'm sure most people have seen the movie. Uh, you might have heard now, of course, he is definitely gonna be in uh, Thor Ragnarok, which is cool because at the end of, I wanna give anything away, but he's gonna be in Ragnarok one of my favorite characters, as you might have guessed. Um, and since the movie's out, I actually lucked out, because, you know, I've been into this stuff for a long time, so have, like, probably you. But uh, the I actually got this shirt at Walmart, a Doctor Strange shirt at Walmart. I mean, who would have thought that in a million years? Seven fifty. So if you're into Doctor Strange, head to your Walmart. Uh, I try not to do a lot of shopping there, but I needed to get something. Uh, and I saw this shirt, so I, I picked it up. So I thought today we'll show a bunch of Doctor Strange stuff. And uh, I guess we'll go in. Or let's see what order we'll be going. Let's go in. Let's organize a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's go in. Uh, I wouldn't say chronological because I don't have the first appearance. Because uh, now it's crazy expensive because of the whole the whole movie thing. But uh, I do have this one, which is pretty cool. And it is in fantastic shape. Uh, I put this at a fine plus. Uh, when I graded it, I had a bunch of people look at it and they agreed. So this is, this is one of my favorites. I found this in North Carolina, actually. In a, it was like a flea market in North Carolina. Uh, over at the fair, fairgrounds, maybe, by the museum. So if you're ever over there, uh, definitely check that out. Guy's got crazy comics. For, I, I'd like to go down there again just to go shopping there. So let's just go through some of these Doctor Stranges. This is one of my favorite covers. Um, love this cover. Just the, the green and the red and just awesome this is one uh, seven, uh, 171 some of these early Doctor Stranges they had some of the coolest covers 172 and that of course is uh, Dormammu it was fun to hear some of the things uh, these people actually uh, the words like how you're supposed to pronounce these people and these things in the movie. That was always nice. That was nice to hear. Oh, they're going to fall off the desk. Again, amazing cover. Uh, Dormammu. Uh, interesting that he's green and uh, just, just a cool cover. Now, where do I get this? This I got from Samco1comics.com. Uh, actually, it's a... Uh, he's an eBay seller. Sam... S-A-M-C-O-1. Look for him on eBay if you're into comics. Always has amazing Silver Age. Uh, great seller. I have bought a lot of stuff from him. And uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Again, fantastic cover. I have to stop saying, although I, I don't really care for this cover all that much, but 174. Great stuff. And you know, we're looking at Doctor Strange comics. I don't know if anyone's watched it, but I've been watching The Magician or The Magicians on Netflix. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I was worried it was going to be a little too Harry Potter. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Kind of dark. And probably, again, one of my favorite all-time Doctor Strange covers. What issue is that? 177. Just a fun cover. Amazing stuff. And this isn't just these, this is just in fantastic shape. I've been thinking about actually having it, um, doing a new round of CGCs and sending that one. Guest starring the Black Knight. What is this one? 78. Love this book. So those are just some, some Silver Age, some earlier Doctor Stranges. Um... And then we'll move up to the uh, the one that when did this one was this? This was uh, I cannot remember what year this came out off the top of my head, but uh, let's look at it. Well, 
look at it really quick here. It's uh, the Doctor Strange. It's sort of Bronze Age. Doctor Strange, number one. Love this cover. I love all the sort of work around it here like this and the, s the snake hands. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's a cool one. When did, when did these come out? I want to say 70. Now, when you undo your bags, do not make the mistake I almost made. A, I need to review these into Mylar because this is a filthy book. I picked these up at a pawn shop, <laughs> believe it or not. I always take the tape off. Oh, that's gross. I'm going to just crumble that tape down so there's no way anything can happen. And I'm going to re... I'm going to just throw this out. We keep the backing board, actually, because I think that's definitely an acid-free because there's not any bit of yellow or smell to that at all. But I'm going to get rid of this bag that's gross and mylar this up later. So when did this come out? 74. I was way off. I thought it was 78. Um, pages are just starting to border on uh, tan. Some, you know, it's a little bit of the acrid sort of smell to it, but not bad. It's got some stress stuff along the along the um, staples for sure and it looks like there's a little nick in the cover and there's some sort of some wear up at the top you might be able to see that but the staples are staples are great everything else looks really nice definitely going to put in some micro chamber paper in this and get it in a and get it in a bag a mylar bag to help make sure it stays that way so that's cool Again, another one of my favorite covers. And this, I'm going to get this notepad out of there. There we go. And this is uh, number two. And this is what I dig about this is we've got the Defenders. Um, this is like a Defenders cover. So we've got Silver Surfer, who is one of my favorites. We'll have to do a Silver Surfer video. Hulk, Submariner, and Doctor Strange. I just love the lighting on Doctor Strange. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. Fun book. Fun book. And this is uh, fine. I bought this and the guy graded it fine. I'd, I'd have to look at it, but I know who the store this came from and the guy's a pretty good grader, so I would definitely stay. say uh, it's good. It's good. He It was from uh, Sales to Astonish up in, up in New York. And uh, amazing grader. And he's, uh, so I definitely would believe that. Fun, Doctor Strange. And then we're going to jump up into the, I want to say, I'm going to probably be wrong again. I want to say 89. We'll see if I'm right. Um, and there's, uh, there's like the newer, one of the newer titles, 89. I'm going to say, we're going to look. Dormammu. I love the color on this. I love the cover. Uh, I believe this is Kevin Nolan who did the art. Let's take a look. and 88 oh i was so close and no way i cannot believe this so the penciler through the whole book i did not know he did this the penciler throughout the whole book is um richard case oh my god i totally did not know that um that is awesome i used to live in north carolina and i got to be at a couple shows and with uh, Rich sitting next to me and chatting with him. And then, you know, uh, he did some work for me and I always, some work, he did a little drawing for me for uh, pixelstrips.com. And I sort of kept in touch and he's friends with another friend of mine and I always get sketches from him when I'm at shows. I had no idea. And if you're not familiar with the name, uh, think of like Grant Morrison, Doom Patrol. He did that. Um, uh, Tim Hunter, like the Age of Magic, all the Tim Hunter stuff. He did that. I never knew he did this book. Oh my God, that is hilarious. I have to see if he has any original art left. Funny thing is, we always joke about, uh, I send him links when I see someone selling original art for Doom Patrol because he got rid of, he sold almost all of his. 
and now they're like 300 a page 500 a page a thousand a page and he didn't sell them for that much so i always send him a link when i see that so wow richard case that is crazy i am gonna definitely email him uh that is funny and here's some from the newest iteration of the title that just has have been you know fantastic uh kevin nolan did this one the art for this one and it's number what is it number 11 and if you're not familiar with the latest uh iteration they um this like scientific race uh comes uh, and goes through the entire all these worlds to uh destroy magic and of course they make it to earth do the same thing now this one was from kevin nolan did the art on this one but most of the title so for oh and it's written by um what's his first name aaron um jason aaron he did scalped uh, that's the first thing i think i've read and you might have done but he did scalped uh, which is fantastic and so he's doing these dr strangers so they really have a gritty kind of feel to them and and I'm going to say his name wrong, but Chris Bacello, he is another one of my absolute favorite artists. I'm actually saving up to get an original piece of original art from this book from him. I emailed him and told him which ones I wanted. And he said when they are up for sale that I can get them. Now I will be able to get one of them probably, <laughs> but uh, let's, I can show you if you're not familiar with this art. It's just really, really pretty stuff. So, yeah, and he, of course, did the cover as well for this one, which is great. So it's Doctor Strange, really cool. Uh, title, one of my favorites. Uh, I think I showed this in another video. I just got this from Mondo Tees. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They do uh, posters. Uh, and uh, really cool really cool posters you can see a piece of one of them back there but i just got this this is tom whalen did this it's a um like a enamel pin which is pretty neat it's got a, it's a good size to it uh and dr strange he's got a whole series and i think the i only got that one because uh, they had their mamu and everything but i decided to get that one you know i'm gonna take a poster off the wall i got from mondo t's i'm gonna have to stand up to do it but make sure my fly is zipped here did i pull the thing right out i didn't this is a poster uh one uh, like a mondo t's poster that i got which is pretty neat of dr strange so you know i guess you could hang it any way you want or can you let's take a look well, no, because the, the title and stuff is down here. But it's just a, kind of a cool piece of art, uh, Doctor Strange. Again, Mondo Tees, check them out. Um, amazing posters, crazy expensive, um, some of them. And, you know, you've got to get there and buy them at a specific time is when they go live. So it can be a pain. And then you can wait all day, and then you log in at 12 to try to buy one. And since there's 300 of them, they're sold. In like two seconds but sometimes you can luck out and you can get stuff um let's go to the bookshelf and yeah this is a plant because this is a dr strange episode but i thought this would be fun one of these little pocket books if you've ever seen these uh stanley uh stanley presents dr strange master of mystic arts all in full color with color all <laughs> And of course, this is a collector's item because it says it right here. And it's the uh, his first appearance and just all this Ditko stuff, but so tiny. Uh, the words are so small, it is very hard for me to read at this point. But these are fun, these pocketbooks. I've got a bunch of them. And you can see just how tiny this is, the writing. Let's find a page. So that's what they look like. That's probably totally not in focus. But yeah, fun stuff. Uh, again, I'm not sure how many there are, but this has got the origin of Doctor Strange, uh, face to face with Baron. It's got like 10 stories in it, 12 stories in it. 
and it's all the um, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko stuff. So if you see these, I think these were in a collection I bought in a box just sort of floating around. Uh, but fun stuff. And again, Doctor Strange is great. Uh, I'm curious to see what everybody thought about the movie. I really dug it. Uh, I'm probably going to do another podcast uh, on Doctor Strange. I did a short little video one uh, on Doctor Strange, but I want to do a full podcast over at my podcast site, which is Heroes, Villains, and Sidekicks.com. Uh, again, if you get a chance to listen to it, that'd be cool. I'd be curious what you think about it. Uh, you know, leave a review or leave a message on the site. That is all the Doctor Strange stuff I have within reach. So, again, I want to thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you soon.